The Healthy Families Foundation just finished their fifth family building campaign in Francis Town. This campaign had over 3,270 people attending every single day, meeting in 115 groups across the city. The ongoing family building workshop held under the campaign themed Building Strong Families to Strengthen the Nation, hosted by Ms. Ashley Taba of the Healthy Families Foundation in Francistown. The participants from all walks of life and professions have in turn formed teams either at their workplaces or areas of residence to trickle down lessons learned from the 18-day training. So if we can fix the homes, that's the root, we can fix the fruit. And so this is an 18-day training meant to give practical advice on how to help strengthen our families with the goal that if our families are healthier and happier, then we are healthier and happier. And if we as individuals are healthier and happier, then we as a nation are healthier and happier. The Just Ended Family Building Seminar, dubbed Building Strong Families to Strengthen the Nation, has been hailed as crucial towards the war against social ills and necessitating moral values, among others. The program participants graduated with certificates on Friday at an event which attracted many people in Francis Town. They raised their hands in the hour of need selflessly and sacrificed their all through their Healthy Families Foundation, popularly aired on BTV as the Tabas. The campaign started off with an opening ceremony where the mayor of Francistown officially welcomed the Healthy Families Foundation to Francistown. From there, every morning from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., the Tabas taught one chapter of their marriage book to a group of around 320 volunteers each day for 12 working days. These volunteers came every day to learn, and then each day, they would go back to their workplaces, their neighborhoods, and their families to teach their own small groups what they had learned that morning. This is how over 3,270 people were involved every day. Groups were meeting daily in police stations, WDC groups, Attorney General's Chambers, Department of Building and Engineering Services, Immigration Office, MISAC Office, Taxi Rank, Shabins, Hair Salons, Spa Grocery Store, BDF Camp, Prisons, Tribal Administrator's Office, CTO, Churches, Nyangagwe Hospital, Clinics Around Town, Hotlas, Center for the Deaf, Department of Water and Sanitation, BURS, City Council, and numerous other places for a total of 115 groups meeting every day. Although many were involved, two groups that brought the most participants were the police and the ward development committees. The WDC had 50 leaders from 25 wards present each morning and went back to lead large groups in every neighborhood in Francistown. Many of these leaders led groups in both the early morning and after work to cater for more people every day. The police had 53 officers attend every single morning from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. to be trained. These 53 officers then took what they learned and shared it with their colleagues in every police station in Francistown in a group every day. But then, in an effort to prevent crime, they took these teachings daily to hair salons, shebins, ipelehen workers, and the taxi rank. The police stated that they wanted to help spread these teachings far and wide in an effort to put a stop to gender-based violence, substance abuse, and other social ills which they usually encounter on a daily basis. These police officers were daily teaching 677 people around Francistown. Francistown is blessed to have such loving police officers trying to serve and protect the community. We heard of countless testimonies of homes experiencing less gender-based violence as they applied what they were learning. Couples planning on divorcing found renewed hope and cancelled divorces. Countless people testified that they stopped drinking alcohol. Many parents said their relationship with their children improved. Youth explained how these teachings gave them a sense of hope that they could have a healthy family.
even though they stated that they had never seen that before in their upbringing. Many promised that now that they were equipped, they would break the cycle and build a healthy family for themselves. So if you don't want to come into this, this, this workshop and getting able to teach people and getting to hear about their family situations and sharing experiences and learning from each other. You know what? I might not have had an example of what a good family is, but I can build my own from scratch. Yeah. When I first came in, at the book title, Making Marriages Fun, I personally had my doubts that this was possible, but the first two topics caused me to self-introspect. On so many levels, I've been doing so many things well. I was always rude, always rough. So one day I called my friend. I told him we needed to talk face to face. The covers had encouraged us to look each other in the eye. We did, but it felt awkward. We had never talked openly because before I didn't give her the time to listen to my thoughts. I listened and hey, we had such a good talk. I never did things at all. She was shocked that I did the dishes. Now she's saying next time I come home, I'm going to cook for her. I think so about me, I like how I did it. Because I want to improve our relationship. And already I can testify that this is making a difference. The campaign concluded in a high-energy closing ceremony where the 1,620 people who attended at least 10 of the 12 days were given certificates. The closing ceremony was attended by many top officials, such as the Minister of Local Government, the Northern Police Division Commander Senior Assistant Commissioner, Chiefs of Francis Town, the Deputy Divisional North Commander of Prisons, the Chief of Staff in the Botswana Defence Force, the deputy mayor, the town clerk, and many others. Although the Frenchtown campaign is over, most campaign participants say it is just the beginning of a new way of life for them. Most have committed to continuing their groups and even taking the teachings they learned to surrounding villages, as well as starting more groups all over the city. The entire city experienced revival and a renewed sense of hope. What a joy to partner with so many people to see such a massive change on a citywide level.